What's up guys, Goog and Barbecue back, and today we've got another tomahawk steak. This one is choice grade and it is from Publix. So I'm gonna show you how to cook this to perfection. And really this goes for any steak that you're gonna cook, as long as it's nice and thick, you can follow this method. So let's get this seasoned up and get it in the refrigerator for a nice dry brine. Always pat your meat down really well. Get it nice and dry. And this steak is about two pounds, so it is pretty thick and pretty big. So you can be pretty liberal with this salt. And don't forget those sides. Now that we have this seasoned up, we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator and we're gonna let it sit in there for a few hours until we're ready to grill it. We got this smoker up to temperature, so let's go ahead and throw this tomahawk steak on the smoker. We're gonna be doing the reverse sear method and I'm gonna get it to an internal temperature of 125 degrees and once it hits that, I'm gonna pull it off and then we're gonna sear it on our side sear station. So let's go ahead and pull this steak off of the smoker side of things and put it on this side sear burner. And listen to that sizzle. I'm gonna pull this meter plus out as well because that's gonna to get too hot. And we'll monitor the temperatures with my therm pen. So it's probably gonna go about a minute for each side, maybe a little bit longer. All right, it's about time for a flip, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh man, look at that color. Man, this looks fantastic. So I promise you guys, if you follow this method, you're gonna have a really, really good outcome. You can even take a $20 steak like this and produce something that tastes as good as like a $50 or $60 steak that you would have at a steakhouse. So let's get this cut up and let's taste it and let's see how we did. That's looking pretty great to me. So I like my steaks around 135 degrees, which is about medium doneness. If you like yours a little bit more, cook a little bit longer. If you like them a little bit more rare, just cook them a little bit less time. Let's go ahead and give this a taste and see how we did. Look at that beautiful color. Oh man. Oh my gosh, guys. That smoky flavor that you get from the smoker and that sear that you get from the side sear burner over those hot coals that we made from those wood splits. I'm telling you, this is one of the best ways that you can cook a steak, in my opinion. And yeah, you're paying a little bit more for the bone, but I think it looks really cool. It makes a really nice presentation, especially if you have company over. So if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and consider subscribing. And also like this video and put your comments down below. Tell me how you think I did on this cook and tell me how you guys prefer your steaks. And we can't forget Bixby who has to try a little piece. Here she goes. You ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah, she ate that right up. Of course she did. All right guys, so we'll see you in the next video. I appreciate everybody watching. Take care.